Bottom line, we just love our animals so much, we treat them like family that we figured that every fire station needs to have the ability to save these guys. We were shocked to find out that they didn't have enough of these. We knew that they had a few of them, but not every department had them. Uh, we had found out that most of the masks today um, are either significantly old or failing. And so it was a big um, to-do to make sure that these uh, local fire uh, departments were outfitted with the uh, up-to-date and proper um, breathing masks and make sure that we're giving our animals and our pets um, uh, all the additional support that they need in case they do get into a fire situation. Well, I think we've had a couple of structure fires where that's happened, and we use people masks, but again, with a people mask, you're not able to seal them up. So we only have one kit in our whole district, and so this will help out a lot. We run three primary medic units throughout that, so we'll put one on each medic unit. So these are a demand situation. The nice thing about these is they actually seal. When we put a human one on, they don't seal up with a dog. So they have this boot that goes around the end. We use our people oxygen, regular oxygen, to flow this in. So what this does is, is just like we do with people, we run oxygen in while we're doing CPR on them. The CPR process with the dogs will bring this oxygen in through their snout and away you go. These masks mean a lot to us, so we're, we're really happy that you guys are helping provide the equipment for us to be able to um, help facilitate making a difference, whether it be a house fire and we're pulling people out of a house and their animals, now we can actually take care of the animals as well. We just wanted the fire departments to have the ability to have these and hopefully not have to use them, but if they do, they've got them.